I came through again. I uh, I had the shoe blocker I got put on, and it's nasty outside. So I was like, hey, I got to figure out how I'm going to do this. He goes, come to my 400-foot trailer, and we could do it in there. <laughs> All right, we cleaned it off so we can actually do everything. So, got everything cleaned off. And if you go around here, we took off the padding, which is very easy. So, what we're gonna do is run the wires up to there to hook in here. So, next part is we found the placement we wanted. So, that's gonna sit good. I like that. That's gonna sit really good. So, next, next. We actually freaking went and got some different shorter, shorter nuts and bolts to put through because we feel like that would be more secure and then it'll secure them a little bit more. So that's what we're doing right now. So yeah, we just wanted to go ahead and make it a little bit more secure. I mean, what it costs us? $3.02, Todd? Yeah. $3.02. So now it's just mounted. Now we got to do the thing we don't want to do, and that's, uh, wiring. Hell oh, yeah. Okay, not, not us, okay? We're gonna freaking, we're gonna put a hole right here. We're gonna put that puppy right there, and we're gonna make it look gangster. There you go. Butter. Hit the hit the hit the trigger. Look at that. Look at that. That looks so much better, you can man. You get it with your thumb. Yeah, you can get yeah, you can get it with your thumb. Never have to leave your controllers. All right, so we got it mounted. Uh, it's everything's ran straight and clean. All right. See where switch. All right, Todd, hit that switch. I love that halfway. That's gangster. That worked, brother. What do you think about it, Todd? I like it. I you, think we need to put one on the 72 next. He wants to put one on the gravely now. Oh boy. These things are pretty awesome, man. That's awesome. And we did decide that that looked a lot cleaner than using the bracket. We, All you have to do is drill a half inch hole. Is that what you, half inch? Half inch. Half inch hole. And that way, show them how you said about, how you have your hand on your uh, hydros and you can just use your thumb. See, see? That way you're never losing control of your, your mower at the same time. So we went so, back and we put we the like rubber seal in there you can actually use either one for the flap but we decided to do that because here you want to hit it it doesn't have more of a bam like that clack noise was crazy so okay finished product man it's done everything looks clean there's no wires really showing anywhere anything like that so uh, as far as install is concerned for us with uh, the green guard, uh, 20 minutes, Todd? Roughly, yeah. It, it, it's not difficult at all, and uh, it's a great concept. So uh, we're going to give it a freaking great review as far as the install is concerned.